Hello, everybody, and welcome to Flaming Oyster Clam thing. This is. I am your host, me, and we are taking a very scenic tour through a bunch of fire caverns in space, aka Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, we are lost, kind of. We're lost, but we have places that we can explore. So... Eh. <laughs> That's kind of how these games go. It looks like we can flip these... oyster things upside down if we shoot them when they're open. Wink. So... And use them as platform to get across. Last time we picked up uh, the spider ball, finally. Oh, hi, you are a serpent. Like the fire dungeon boss from Ocarina of Time. Sure. That looks like a thing I can shoot. It's a little delayed. Man, this place is immense. Oh, I knew it was gonna hit the... Gonna hit the enemy floating around in front of it. Hi, buddy. Uh, uh, can I get out of, like, your aggro range? <laughs> it always throws me off, um, because you can kind of see that if I, like, shoot a missile at him. It goes in this, like, open state. If you press it and then wait for it, your, your arm cannon kind of do its thing before you can actually shoot. That keeps throwing me off. Like, why do I have to wait for my arm cannon to transform? <laughs> I don't have to do that in other games. Can I roll into you? Yes. <laughs> I'd drop you on top of it. What? What? <laughs> Figured that'd work. That's like video game logic 101. If you see a giant, uh, fragile looking rock right above an enemy, then it's free real estate. <laughs> I get to use the spider ball for something. As to go across here. Oop. <laughs> Backwards. Okay, so we are now... Back... Where we were before. <laughs> we're back where we were before, and we didn't really do a whole lot in this new area. Because that's a white door over there, which we still do not have. This is a white door over here, which we do not have. This puzzle thing appeared to just be a energy tank, but I could be wrong in that. Which means that we now have places to explore. I really could not find a way to get up to that door, so I'm a little confused about that one. But at the very least, I do know that there are some places in the Chozo Ruins that we can uh, check out. So, this might be a good time for me to pause the recording and just kind of skip to whenever I actually find something because it might be a little while. <laughs> Depends on how things go. I don't exactly have the greatest track record in the world. <laughs> Anyways, away! It's flat. Okay. Our first stop is going to be in the Chozo Ruins over at the Ruin Shrine. That is not the door. <laughs> uh, because I do believe that this required 
the spider ball to advance. There do appear to be a few rooms behind this. Which is why I wanted to check this one out in particular. Yeah, because it was this room over the half pipe. Ouch, I hit a wall. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Finally made it up there. Oop. <laughs> Pressed the wrong button. Wrong, uh, wrong trigger. There we go. And we are up here. Because there's a whole suite of rooms back here. We have yet to explore. Is this water fine? Water does appear to be fine. Honestly, I do not know which visibility is better. <laughs> the thermal visor has better visibility down here, or if the normal combat one does. Sweet. We appear to have a door up there that we cannot quite reach. Yay, underwater. <laughs> Everyone loves underwater sections, right? 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think I can make that jump. Where am I? <laughs> uh, oops. Uh, that is why I cannot make that jump, is because there is a... Morph <laughs> ball thing here? Um... A little high. I do not know what you are. <laughs> Recording to logbook. Uh -uh. There's a few of them. Hmm. Yeah, I am not quite sure if we can do this yet. Unfortunate. Uh, so therefore, it is back to looking around for me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. Another place to check out. Was also in the Chosen Ruins of this dynamo. Not entirely sure what this place is for, but I do remember it having this. Cool. So glad I did that. Whoop de doo. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh. We're going to the next location to check. I feel like it might not be in the Chozo Ruins. Something tells me uh, where I'm supposed to go might not be here, but I guess the next room to check is this over here. It does have a... Okay, that might be a white door, actually. So I might go... Somewhere. This requires the grapple beam. 
Couldn't seem to do much with the water over here. This needs whatever the white thing is. So I'm gonna go look through the other places. <laughs> Tower of Light. Uh, back here with the, the water, speaking of which, um, did not mean to come down here, but I made a slight discovery as I was thinking about this room a bit more because I was thinking it was a bit suspicious that we just couldn't do anything in here. And so I made a bit of a discovery. That discovery is that there are these pillars that you can seemingly destroy. Will hopefully prove useful here. Just Samus going about her day of causing structural damage. That is an item up there. Oh, hello, who are you? Ah. Now these little buggers are wanting to block our shots. Oop, boop, yeah, big one. <laughs> They have big hitboxes as well. Looks like we're just kind of over here being the wrecking crew. Just slowly knocking this tower down so we can... Yeah, keep moving our way up. Very rapidly running out of missiles. Want to be careful not to have too many of them rebound because of these hitbox monsters. <laughs> huh. There we go. New ability. Wave Buster. What is that? This powerful attack uses missiles while active. Use the wave beam. Pro okay, so it's basically super missiles, but for wave beam. That is not particularly helpful. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that eats through your missiles very rapidly. Huh. So that was honestly a bit of a letdown. I was hoping for something that would allow me to get through here. But it seems like this may just be a one directional thing of like you come out from some other zone there into here. Therefore, you know what that means, everyone strap in because the search continues. Yay! <laughs> okay. Decided to come all the way back down to here in Megmore Caverns. This room that we've been in so many times, we can now finally access this platform up here. And 
and I speculate that this may be where we need to be going because when I came in here, there were actually a bunch of, all the turrets were gone and there were a bunch of flying space pirates. Lacks power. So the enemies in this room got replaced and we can now access a new area, uh, which is rather, it's, it's tickling my, uh, my video game senses. Not even see that there. Cool. This is a bridge over here because otherwise we were not making that jump even remotely. <laughs> not even remotely close if we did not have a bit of a lead up bridge. We can now finally access this thing all the way over here. Get us our second Chozo artifact by the looks of it. Artifact of Strength, the second of twelve. Cool. Pretty necessary on our journey. But I am... that means I'm lost again. <laughs> and not sure where to go. Yo! It'll probably be one last cut in this episode, then. There's a hole there. I missed something in that room. Hmm... Yes, it does not appear that the Chozo artifacts necessarily give us any sort of equipment or tools or anything. It doesn't appear to be necessary to trigger the end of the game. Now, according to the map, there should be some sort of hole that will lead into a room below us. I did not mean to fall down there. Get out. There you go. Oh, well, I'll just... It's probably nothing, but I'll just have a poke around here and meet back up with you when I find something. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I continued looking around in this room, and there was this thing here. Is the uh, ben Bendesium portion of uh? area is unstable. I don't think we really have the tools to do anything. Oh, wrong button. I do not think we have really have any of the tools to do anything with this shoot into here. So I'm going to leave it, and honestly, I'm going to end this episode off. Uh, yeah. This was just a lot of searching around, and this episode took a lot more behind-the-scenes time in comparison to most of the recent ones. But uh, before the next episode, I will find a promising area of interest. That way you do not have to waste a lot of episode time, just... Trying to even find where I'm supposed to be going. Again, this really does feel a lot more confusing than uh, Zero Mission or Dread or uh, Samus Returns. And I speculate that it's just because it's a it's a 3D game, so they kind of need to reuse their rooms a lot more. And so they do a lot more backtracking and like multi-area sort of sequences, if that makes any sense. 
Because like for the especially for like zero mission, you once you get your your uh, your tile sets of all of your sprites drawn, you can just kind of make a bunch of rooms in a few hours by just putting things together. Where a lot of this requires very bespoke 3D modeling and a lot more planning. <laughs> so they probably have to reuse these rooms more to get the same sort of game length. Anyways, we are, we are slowly making progress. Slowly, very slowly making progress in the game. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and... Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, go get some sleep. We're gonna go to sleep soon playing this game for quite a while. I'm going to go to sleep soon. You should too. Well, maybe not if it's like the morning or something, but value your sleep. Value your sleep. It, it, it really makes a big difference. Whew. I almost jumped into the lava. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>